Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Marquita with Marquita LV Luxury. And on today, we have another exciting video. Today, I will be doing more Q&As. Um, I'm trying to eliminate some of the emails and I want you guys to know that I am here to answer your questions. As long as I can get to them, um, it is piling up but um, I'm trying my best. So I will be doing a few Q and A's today, but I also wanted to do a comparison video that I have been getting questioned about um, for weeks now. So I kind of want to go ahead and discuss that as well. So you guys can go ahead and go out and purchase the bag that you want. So before we get started, please make sure you go and view my past videos. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. To everyone that have been with me since day one, thank you so much. I appreciate all the positive comments, the positive emails. It keeps me going and it just warms my heart. To all of the new subbies, welcome. I'm so glad to have you guys. I hope you enjoy the videos. I hope that I'm educating you more on the LV products. Um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. I most definitely will get to them if I can. You can also visit me on Instagram if you would like to view more of my collection. Um, Marquita, LV Luxury is the name. Make sure you go on the DM, stop by and say hello. You can also email me at marquitalvluxury at gmail.com. Okay, as always, go get your wine, go get your snack, and hurry back so we can get started. Okay, y'all, welcome back. Um... Did you get your wine? I hope you did because we are going to have fun. Let's start with the first question. The first question, what is your favorite pair of LV shoes? Guys, this was hard. I actually own 14 pair of LV shoes, um, LV footwear, because that's a mixture between boots um, and sandals and tennis shoes. So I own 14 pair of LB footwear. So that's all of them included boots, sandals, and tennis shoes, okay? Um, that was so hard for me to pick because I actually love LB footwear. I absolutely love their, their boots, their tennis shoes, and their sandals. So I narrowed it down to three. I could not pick between these three. So these are my top three favorite LV footwear items, okay? The LV Bomb Dia Flats in monogram. Absolutely love these. I do have a video on these. As you can see, I wear these a lot. <laughs> I wear these a lot. I couldn't even hand them down to anyone. Um, as you can see, I wear these everywhere. I wear them everywhere. I had them on today. So, the Bomb Deal Flats, if you can find these, purchase these guys fast. I absolutely love them. Um, I got these in a size 37. I wear a 36, which is a size 6. So go up a full size. This is the LV uh, Bomb Deal Flat Sandals in monogram. Okay, and it is adjustable to your liking. So you can loosen it up or tighten it as you please. Again, Bomb Deal Flat. And on the website, they are showing out of stock. But if you put in your location, Certain sizes do come up, meaning they are available in, in another state, um, just not online. So they're located in a store somewhere in the U.S., meaning you can contact an SA to order these for you guys and have them shipped to you, or you can call the customer service number that's on the website, okay? Again, I wear a 36, a size 6. This is a size 37 meaning you need to go one size up. Okay, let's move to the next one. The passenger sandals. I cannot say enough about these sandals. Oh my gosh. The monogram, and they actually remind me of the Dolphin bag. 
and I will show you a picture probably this weekend how I matched that up. I have worn it um before. I just never wore it out long. So I am going to wear it this weekend to a gathering and I'm going to show you guys how I pair it up with my dolphin bag, my crossbody. Guys, it's breathtaking. I love these sandals. I love the thick heel. Absolutely gorgeous. And the strap, adjustable. But look at the detail. I even like the, the gold material inside. Look at the detail. Very cute. Very cute. I love the monogram here. These are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I do wear these, as you can see. <laughs> and the size on these are 37, meaning I went one size up. Guys, these are very, very comfortable. No complaints. I rate these a 10. For it to be my favorite, they have to be a 10. So, the passenger sandals, LV passenger sandals, they are in stock in certain sizes. So, you can go to the website and order. If they are not there, you know to reach out to an SA or call the um, customer service line to get these ordered and shipped to you. Okay? The heel, absolutely comfortable, guys. This is a win-win. Go out and get these. The next pair... Oh my gosh, I love these trailblazer boots. Oh gosh, I have a picture of these on my Instagram page, Marquita LV Luxury, how I wore these beauties. You can wear these with a dress, you can wear them with pants, you can wear them with shorts. They're gorgeous guys and very, very comfortable. Um, I never untie these unless they come untied, but I just use a zipper on the side. Thick wedge heel as well. Absolutely love these boots, guys. Okay, and the size is a 36 and a half. So I didn't go a full size up. So these are a six and a half. I wear a six. So I went a half size up and they fit me perfect. Okay, so guys, those are my three top LV footwear um, items in my collection. As stated, I own 14 pair, but those three I cannot live without. I absolutely adore having them in my collection. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, guys, let's rewind a little bit. The next question was, do you have a least favorite pair of LV shoes? And I do, I lied, I absolutely forgot. The LV Sun Bath Sandals. Oh gosh, yeah. Um, when I saw these online, I actually wanted the khaki ones, but um, they were sold out. My SA, my CA could not find them anywhere. They were sold out in the US. And so I um, settled for these. Um, because I, I just like the design, how it looked online. And when I got them, guys, I tried them on. They're so, they're fat. They're, they're, they're fat. They're wide. Um, I know y'all are going to laugh at me on that. But um, I'm just being honest with you guys. <laughs> they're super wide. And sometimes, I don't know, guys. And then I slipped because I put lotion on and I, I put my foot in one and it just slipped. I don't know. I I would try to love them again, but right now I just don't like these sh these sandals, okay? They're my least favorite pair. Um I had them in my dust bag and like I said, I try to wear these guys. I tried, you guys know, I tried. It's just something about them. Um I actually forgot I had them. So it went past the 30 day return mark. And so I was left with them. So you guys know how they go. Um, I hardly return anything. So it probably was something that I just added to my collection of things that I forget to return. But it does have an adjustable. It does have an adjustable latch. 
as well with the monogram you guys know i love monogram and black so i was actually happy to get them but for me they just didn't work guys like i said maybe um taking these to the beach um hot sand wear these okay but um i i actually see people out and about with these on and i couldn't do it um like i said for me they're kind of fat and kind of chunky and they are heavy they are they are so heavy um so for me it's a no but for you it might work um size 37 meaning i went up a size okay monogram on the top again adjustable strap and kind of the thick sole and it's soft inside it has the lv symbol in the middle again go up one size i wear 36 these are 37. So these are my least favorite pair of LV footwear item in my collection. Let's move on to the next question. Okay guys, the next question, how long did it take you to get monetized with YouTube? Okay guys, it's, it's basically a short story. As stated in the past video guys, I only started my YouTube to get away from my many businesses that I handle on a daily basis. This was an outlet for me. Um, I've been collecting before, um, before even knowing about the LB community on YouTube. And so when I went on there to start looking for a certain bag I wanted to review, I just found this huge, I mean, this huge community that actually was interested in the things that I was interested in. And some videos, I didn't get the fulfillment that I needed. Um, not saying their videos um, wasn't interesting, but I still had questions. I, I had questions before purchasing and I could never get my questions answered. And so um, I will actually go out and purchase the bag. And if I like it, I will keep it. And if I didn't, I will return it, which I hardly did. But um, I just decided to get on YouTube and talk about it because I know it's other people out there that have the same questions. Um, they want details. And that was me. I'm very detail oriented. I just, I have to know everything um, about a bag before I purchase or I purchase and I find out myself. And so I just wanted to share with you guys. So I did not know any of this would happen. Um, and it actually took me three weeks. <laughs> It took me three weeks to get monetized. Um, I was just on here talking. Um, the next morning, I woke up and I had an email. I had an email um, from YouTube just telling me to get my um, my Google, my AdSense, uh, link my account. And it still took me a while to send in that information because, like I stated, it was something I, I wasn't looking for. So just being, you know humble i'm i'm very thankful i'm blessed to even be able to speak to you guys and make money from doing it and that's just me being honest it's something that i i wasn't expecting um but i'm i'm very thankful for it so guys if this is something that you want to do get on here and just talk get on here and be yourself um like i said i just give details things that i was looking for that i couldn't find and i just try to bring it to you guys Okay, so it took me three weeks to get monetized with YouTube. And if I can do it, you guys can too. Okay, next question. Did you steal your husband's trio messenger crossbody? Yes, I did. And he stole it back. Yes, <laughs> I did try to take it. Um, I want that strap so bad. I want the strap um, so bad. I want to wear that strap with my Speedy 25, my UF Speedy 25, the new Speedy that I showed you guys. And I am going to take the strap and use it on that bag. And I'm going to do a video and show you guys. But yes, I did take his bag and he took it right back. So the question is, the answer is yes and no. Okay. <laughs> okay, the last question. What bag have you not carried in your collection? Okay, guys. There's about 10 
10 bags in my collection that has never left the house. I know that's bad, it, it is. Um, when, I, when my CA send me these text messages, I want the bag so bad. I want the bag so bad. Um, I get the bag, I love it for like 15, 30 minutes, probably even an hour I show my husband. I'm happy, I'll do an unboxing now with you guys and it goes on the shelf. Um, and it's been like that for, <laughs> for a while, but I know sooner than later I am gonna wear it, but um, I am hooked on my Odeon MM and my Neverfull MM and Demir Ebene. Um, I'm just hooked on those two bags. Maybe one day, maybe one day. But the two bags um, that I said that I'm going to start using more in 2021, these two bags I have not carried um, at all. And this is very, very, this is old. Um, but I have not carried her out of the house yet. But I told myself again in 2021, these bags are going to get some sunshine. This is, look at this beauty. This is the Emma BB in the rose color, in the metallic rose with the monogram tote. I do have an unboxing on this bag. Again, this is the Emma BB. I have not carried her yet. Um, I actually purchased her because I wanted this beautiful strap as well to go with my petite sack plaid. But she's going to get some sunshine here pretty soon. I promised myself and I promised her as well. So I will do um, take some pictures and post it on my Instagram once I do wear her and find me a lovely outfit. Again, this is the Elmo BB in the metallic rose pink color. And I do have a video, unboxing video. And this is the Neo Noe MM size from the Jungle Collection, the LV Jungle Collection, the large print. This um, tote did not come with this bag. I ordered this from Amazon. Um, I do have a YouTube video speaking on this bag as well. But I have not carried her out the house yet. I've been having her for some time now, some years. Um, as all Neo Noe bags, the inside has the microfiber material. I leave the straps inside to preserve and keep the bags in new condition. Beautiful, beautiful strap. Absolutely beautiful. It's detachable and adjustable. Again, the tote handle came from Amazon. I wanted the black and white. I thought that would be beautiful to match with the strap. Inside, it does have the pouch in the middle. Very, very beautiful bag, guys. This is the front, large LV. And this is the back. So guys, it's it's a beautiful bag. I just haven't um I haven't took it out yet for some sunshine. So just give me some time. Like I said, I will be taking her out um pretty soon and I will take a picture and I will post it on my Instagram. Okay, so these are the two bags that I've never carried out. Um, like I said, it's it's about it's probably more than that, guys. 14, it's a lot that I haven't used yet. Um, but these are the top two that I said that I, that I am going to start carrying out and give more love to. Okay, so guys, um, that does wrap up all of the questions that I will go over for today. I am now going to move forward with the comparison video that I have been getting questioned about here lately. Um, so just hang tight. Let's get started on that. Be right back. Okay, guys, I have been getting a lot of questions. Um, people are looking for nice crossbody bags. They have been asking me to compare these three specific small crossbody bags. The PSM, which stands for the Palm Springs Mini Bag, the Alma BB, and the V-Tote BB, okay? So this is the Alma BB, V-Tote BB, 
and the Palm Springs Mini. Guys, I actually have both of these beauties, but as you know, I love the reverse print. This is my fave. I always talk about her. So today in this video, I will be comparing this beauty here. As you can see, I took the bag tag, the bag charm, um, well, bag tag from the um, Montessori, the Montessori um, backpack. And I just added it right here on the side. Okay. So, like I said, just because this bag charm came on the Montessori doesn't mean you have to leave it on that backpack. As you guys know, I love to mix and match and I love to be creative. This is something very simple. I love monogram and black together and this is perfect. Um, I do not wear any of my Palm Spring Minis as backpacks. The straps are inside. Um, I am going to start putting them in a box because I do not use them as backpacks. I use them as crossbody. So Eve, um, I take the um, straps off the uh, Pochette Matisse bag. It is the reverse Pochette Matisse or the monogram Pochette Matisse and I wear it as a crossbody. And I do have a picture of that on my Instagram as well. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna put this baby in the back. I absolutely love her and put her on the side. I am going to start comparing these two beauties here. Of course, the Demir Ebeen and the BB, the Emma BB size. I do have my initials hot stamped here. Inside, first you know I have the strap, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the strap out. That's an option for a shoulder bag or a crossbody. Vachetta strap, adjustable and detachable. Put this on the side. Okay, guys, I am going to start putting some of my daily essentials that I carry with me every day into the bag so you can see exactly how much it holds. Um, the rose ballerine pink in the middle against the monogram, absolutely gorgeous. I do have it hot stamped. I didn't have it hot stamped on the Vachetta part. I wanted to be a little tad bit different. And so I hot stamped it on this side just to be a little creative. As stated, the rose ballerine pink is here. My favorite against the monogram Vachetta handles. Okay. And the Vachetta strap. Let's start stuffing here. Let's see how much we can get inside. Okay, as you guys know, I am carrying the Demir Ebeen uh, Neverfull MM, so I have been carrying this wallet, this card holder with me. So, let's see if she goes in. Goes in perfect. Inside, the Rose Ballerine Pink microfiber material is two pockets. Inside on one side, and that's it. No pocket on this side. Okay, so only on this side and it's split in half to where it makes two. So it's not a full pocket. It has a divider in the middle, which makes it two, okay? And it still has room inside. And let me get the information on this Vito BB because it's here in my bag. I still have the information. The product code number is M43967. Seven, okay and the price was two thousand three hundred and sixty US dollars I still have the information in the bag okay let's see what else we can fit in this beauty and I'm back using my old and faithful the mini pochette you guys know I have been carrying the game on cosmetic bag for a while so I did put her back on the shelf. I miss my baby so, so much. So I am back carrying my mini pochettes in the monogram print. Let's put her in. Still plenty of room inside. Okay. Travel wipes. 
I do have my hand sanitizer uh, in my mini pochette, but it's nothing like having the wipes with you guys, especially if you have kiddos, okay? Still some room inside. Six key ring holder. Four key ring holder. Recto card holder. And the beautiful monogram coin pouch. Everything fits in. And it does have some room inside still, guys. So everything that I carry every day, except for my desk agenda, of course, you know, the desk agenda cannot fit in. Let's zip her up. She has two zippers, which meets in the middle. And here she goes. And she's not heavy at all, guys. And she did not lose shape. That's what I'm very, very picky about. She did not lose shape. She's not heavy at all. Everything that I needed, plus two wallets. I wouldn't carry the Demir, the Demir Ebene wallet. Um, I just wanted to show you how much this bag actually holds. I will actually carry the Recto card holder, but as you can see, both card holders fit inside of this bag. And this is the Vito BB. I do have a Veto MM. So, these bags are very roomy. And let me not forget, it does have the gold hardware feet at the bottom to protect the bottom area when you do need to sit her down. So, I love having the hard footwear at the bottom. Okay? Guys, I, I love the handles too, as well. The details on this bag is amazing. Again, guys, so if you get the Veto BB, guys, be creative with the tag. We always get the Vachetta, the full Vachetta part, hot stamped. Try the other side. I just thought that was just so different, so neat, and I love, I just love having it like this, turned this way. Okay, so let me show you guys how she looks as a crossbody. Again, Vachetta detachable strap and adjustable. Here she is. As a crossbody, as a shoulder bag, which is very cute, guys, and different. As a tote and forearm. So guys, love this bag. She's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so now let's see what fits inside the Alma BB. Okay guys, before I move on to speaking on the Alma BB, I forgot to tell you guys, I am telling you the product code number and the prices, but guys, if you go on the website and see a different price, it's because LV had another price increase on the 7th of this month. So the price that I'm telling you is what I purchased is how much it was at that time. So when I purchased, it was this price. So if you go on the website looking for the same price, it's not going to be the same. Um, LV had a price increase. I, I just want to give you a heads up. I do apologize. I totally forgot just thinking about it. So, okay. The Demir Evine, the Amma BB inside, of course. The beautiful cherry red interior. This is such a classy bag. Very, very classy. Uh, let's see. It has one small little pouch inside that can hold cards. 
that's it um let me get the product code number for you guys and the price i paid then the product code number is n41221 and the price i paid was 1430 us dollars again you go on the website the price has changed it is it is it's more it'll be had a price increase okay now that we got that out the way let's get started stuffing her we're going to start with the beautiful demir ebene wallet guys and i also have let me cover up my information i also have the inside stamp as well so guys when you get your wallets you can also have them hot stamped as well I know I wasn't going to sell this wallet, um, and I think it's discontinued. I'm going to get more information on this wallet. I don't have the information. Let me see. Well, I have the product code number here. Okay, product code number is N617, and I will leave this information below in the description. I'm not sure if it's available on the website, but I will leave it um, there. For you and I don't think I have the information for the price but you can go on the website and um, check by the product code number again the inside I have hot stamped on the other side more room for cards okay so let's put her in fits in perfect inside still roomy and let's not forget about that beautiful cherry red against this Demiri Bean. I know I love the rose ballerine pink, but this cherry red is beautiful, guys. Oh, gosh. Okay. The mini pochette. Guys, and we are getting full. <laughs> we are getting full. We are getting full, guys. Um, I'm going to wait on my white because I, I, I see something different here, guys. So, I'm going to wait on my white because I do have my hand sanitizer and my mini pochette. They say this for last. The six key ring holder. Four key ring holder. Let me put my keys inside so you guys can see. Four key ring holder and the beautiful matching Demir Ebean print. Recto card holder. Guys, it looks it looks kind of full but it's a little bit room a little bit more room to get some more things in the last thing well i still have this the wipes but this is the um the coin pouch monogram print and i lay her right there on top and the wipes And she is stuffed to the max. <laughs> Nothing else can fit in here, guys. So let's see. And one thing about me, with the Emma bags, I do not like for them to lose shape. So when we do stuff our bags or put items in our bags, if it does change the shape of the bag, I will take items out. I cannot stand it, especially for the Emma BB. It is uniquely designed and made in this half moon shape and I want to keep it that way so um, if I have a hard time zipping I will take some items out that's just me um, of course it has two zippers that can meet in the middle or wherever you decide and see guys for me that's a problem I wouldn't even try to stuff this okay so as stated, the wipes, I do have hand sanitizer. I like for my bags to close and for my bags not to lose shape. And here she is. 
And guys, oh, these bag tags are so irritating to me. But um, it does have the key that goes with the lock. And I don't use these things at all. But inside, that's what it is. If you ever wonder what's inside, those are keys that goes to the lock. And I never use the locks. I am just so full of locks from these bags. Um, I just take them, the zipper, and I meet in the middle. Okay? So, for those that, was, that were torn, let me do a crossbody view first. You know, guys, I want you to get the whole experience. Let's do a crossbody view, and then I will describe the difference between the two bags before I move on to the Palm Springs Mini. So, we can carry this beauty as a shoulder bag. And as a crossbody. So let me do a crossbody from the side. I am 5'4", 145 pounds. A tote. Forearm. And it's kind of tight carrying it right here. So I don't think you guys will ever carry it. I know I don't. Um, basically just like this. Okay. And the strap is not adjustable, just detachable. Okay. And it does have my favorite, the gold hardware feet at the bottom to protect the bag from when placing it down. Okay. So for those that emailed and sent me DMs that were torn between these two beauties, um, they're both beautiful bags. This is more of a carefree bag because it has no vachetta, of course, and that's what we love. No vachetta. You can always change this tag out, guys. So if it's irritating to you how it moves around and it doesn't lay flat, you can always take the tag off. It's no big deal, um, but I have mine hot stamp for a reason, so I just leave it on there. But this bag is bigger. So the Vito BB is bigger than the Alma BB bag. It holds more. It holds more. Um, they both have their their good their good things about them. I love both. Um, my favorite, of course, um, is the Alma. BB, but for those, like I said, that were torn, this bag holds more than the Ammo BB. And the Ammo BB is not heavy at all. With me putting everything in, it's not heavy at all. So, okay. So, as far as size and what holds the most, today the Vito BB took the cake. Let's move on to the Palm Springs Mini. Okay, so I have the Palm Springs Mini with the bag charm from the Montessori. PM bag. Both of those bags are monogram in black. So I added it to my uh, Palm Springs Mini. Let's see what fits inside this beauty. Only one zipper. And as stated, I never carry them as backpacks. I carry them as crossbodies, small little crossbodies. So I take from the Pochette Matisse. I use a strap. And I put it here and I wear her as a crossbody. Inside, it's dark so you can't see. But it does have one pocket opening that runs fairly deep. Inside is the care book. So the pocket is this long. The inside pocket is this long. The care book fits perfect inside. Okay? So if you want to know about how deep it runs... It's this length, okay? Let me put her back in, and I think the price. Oh, I have a product code number here. Um, this this bag is um in stock and out of stock. It goes in and out. Sometimes you will catch them in stock at boutiques because I have seen it before. Um, mine was actually purchased in the boutique when I went in. I've been having her for a while. The product code number is M. 44873. I'm not even sure how much I paid for her then. Um, but of course, price increase. So the price is going to be different anyway. 
And of course, inside is black, as you can see. Front small pocket that I never use at all. Guys, it's some money in here. My daughter has used this bag. It's my $5 now, but um, <laughs> that's her rental fee. But um, front pocket, of course. So let's get the stuff in her. Demir Bean wallet. Inside. Now, the only thing that I don't like is that it's going to have to sit straight up. It's the same length. So it's gonna be hard to get in and out. It's the same length, okay? It's gonna be hard getting in and out. But I want to show you what fits in. So, fits in, and if it changed the shape, you know I take it out, but it doesn't change the shape. It just fits straight in, okay? We still have room, so, the mini pochette. And I'm gonna lay her down on her back. Okay, still some room. Six key ring holder. Four key ring holder. Recto card holder. Monogram coin pouch. And antibacterial wipes. Let's see. I want you guys to see. <laughs> Me trying to stuff. And let's see if it loses shape. It does not lose the shape, but for me, um, I wouldn't carry the wipes because I will have to take the wipes out just to get the items that I need, which is actually a problem anyway, because if you look in, everything is crammed in. I can see everything I need, but it is crammed in, okay? So I'll probably have to lay it down on the side, but... These wipes do fit in. But I might can make it work with the wipes. With everything going on, we need the wipes. <laughs> so, everything fits in the Palm Spring Mini. So, everything that fitted in this v Tote BB, guys, fit into the Palm Springs Mini. That's awesome comparison, guys awesome comparison you would have never thought that everything that fit into this veto bb will fit into the palm springs mini so this palm spring mini guys have some fire behind it the emma bb could not fit the whites at all okay couldn't fit the whites hmm the palm spring mini could Okay, so for those that were curious about these three bags, okay, these three bags, I know a lot of you guys are wanting to pick some crossbody bags for everyday use, um, everyday use, Palm Springs Mini. Amma BB is so classy, not an everyday bag. I would say date night, um, date night <laughs> not an everyday bag this is a classy bag this is a go out bag not everyday bag at all especially with the vachetta but it is a classy bag i love all the gold hardware that's on this bag the details uh lb did an amazing job the details on this bag is amazing and don't forget about the bag tag guys be creative we don't always have to put it on the Vachetta side, the full Vachetta side. Turn that tag over and get that hot stamp, okay? 
Um, the Palm Spring Mini does not have bottom gold hardware feet, um, which is fine. It's totally fine. But you can also carry her as a little tote. But for me, I carry her as a crossbody because I take the uh, pochette matisse strap off and that's how I carry her, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will be back for more. If you have any questions, email me, marquitalvluxury at gmail.com. Come visit your girl on Instagram at marquitalvluxury. Send me a DM saying hi. As always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to view those other videos. Share with a friend. New subbies, welcome. Those that have been with me since day one, I love you guys. Thank you so much for all the positive comments, um, positive emails. You guys keep me going, bringing this fire content. Again, thank you so, so very much. And for those that want to start a YouTube channel, I am here to encourage you. My energy, oh, I encourage you to do it. Um, if I can, you can too, guys. Just get on here and talk. Just like you're talking to a friend, you guys are my friends, okay? So, peace, blessings to you all. Stay safe, be blessed. Until next time, bye-bye.